I am using a size uh, 8 long shank hook and thread is block 6 so as usual if I just start from below the eye this is a still water nymph so you can add some weight if you want but I'm going to be using for my intermediate or sinking line so if you want to fish in the bottom keep going all the way just before the bob add some work <clears throat> okay for the tail I'm using is black marabou so just take a pinch I just don't want too thick tail so just a nice and sparse that's fine And then just use your touch and turn method. Okay, and then the body I'm going to be using is it one of my block stretch. This is a one millimeter thick elastic. You saw me using this material in a different color, so this is a black one. So if you could milk one side and then create a thin point and catching point, take your time again. And use your touch and turn. Just part some wax in here. And then touch and turn all the way. Sorry, I'm just trying to work with the body and then gently bring this body material just using touch and turn take your time catch this gently just to kind of secure it and then take this off and secure it properly go back as you can see there's a little gap in here so what you have to do is bring your thread with attention backwards so it goes back to and touching the other and uh, all the segmentation touching each other so that's fine I'm gonna take this tail off actually all right for the thorax head I'm gonna be using this chenille black color if you can find a flat one that would be very helpful but I'll see how that one looks so if you can just also I'm going to use a yellow color instead of 
green you can use uh, orange I had orange once and it was working very well in the lake so and another hen hackle in block need to create a little bit of bigger head and take this off and this step I need a little practice to tie this now I need to add some marks in here and bring my first the chenille the yellow one make sure you use uh, take your time sorry that's two I'd say three turns are enough. So if we catch this and secure it. Yes, it's, it's been a long time. I haven't tied this for a long time, you know, so I'm not saying I'm struggling with it's a bit tricky to tie these kind of flies. Now, basically, before you bring your half go, I think it's best to give a one half hitch so your thread does not move. Um, huckle, use huckle plier and Sorry, I'm just checking. So, there's about a few turns. Take this extra piece off. And then if you could just spread these equally on either side. So we can bring this head. Now here take your time again. Secure this, you turn, and take this off very close, and then form the head. Take your time again, so the head is important, so make sure you make a nice and small head and then here we finish too that's fine now you can check the rest now it's alright, it's not the best, but it will catch. I'm going to use a dubbing brush to release some fibers or trap in there. I 
and then I'm going to varnish make sure you take your time with the varnish, you need a, about two to three coat in here once they dry just to create a shiny head so there we have one of my variation of Montana Lower I hope you enjoy this video Thanks for watching.